हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट फार्माकोलॉजी एंड टॉक्सिकोलॉजी माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गिरीश बड़गुजर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक फार्माको काइनेटिक्स वेयर वी विल फोकस ऑन वेरियस प्रोसेसेस ऑफ एब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ ड्रग्स सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एब्सॉर्प्शन वट इज एब्सॉर्प्शन इट इज द एंट्री ऑफ ड्रग मोलिक्यूल्स इन टू द सिस्टेमिक सर्कुलेशन और ब्लड फ्रॉम द साइट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन we know that cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer drug molecules enters into blood circulation like this through this lipid bilayer and this process of transport of drug from git or site of administration to the blood circulation is called as absorption of drugs this process can occurs in many ways these are called as processes of absorption the methods or the ways by which drugs can transported from git or from site of administration to blood are called as processes of absorption now we can classify them into four types passive diffusion active transport facilitated diffusion and pinocytosis or phagocytosis let us discuss all these processes one by one first passive diffusion now as we can see drug molecules are present in higher concentration in git so these drug molecules will transported from higher concentration to lower concentration that is from git to blood like this so such transport of drug from higher concentration to lower concentration is called as passive diffusion in passive diffusion drug diffuses across the membrane in the direction of its concentration gradient that is from the region of higher concentration to that of lower concentration so basically it is a downhill process since drug is moving from higher concentration to lower concentration while transporting or diffusing from one area to another no carriers are required for transportation of drugs so energy is also not required non ionized and lipid soluble drugs can diffuse as quickly it is a slow process as compared to other mechanisms and majority of drugs are transported by passive diffusion examples includes alcohol morphine etc so this is first process that is passive diffusion in second process that is active transport you can see here drug molecules are present in lower concentration in git so these drugs can be transported from lower concentration to higher concentration that is from the area of lower concentration to lo higher concentration with the help of protein molecules called carrier proteins so such transport of drugs is called as active transport while doing this energy is required drugs are transported from lower concentration to higher concentration with the help of carrier molecules or carrier proteins with the help of or with the expenditure of energy that is atp so this is active transport in active transport drug transported across the membrane against its concentration gradient that is from the regions of lower concentration to the regions of higher concentration so it is uphill process specific carrier molecules are required these molecules bind with drug molecules forms a reversible complex which then pass through the membrane and leave the drug on another side for this process energy is required since carrier molecules are required energy is being used so it is more rapid than passive diffusion some drugs which can be transported by this mechanism includes levodopa and 5 fluorouracil next process is facilitated diffusion now what happens in facilitated diffusion drug molecules moves from higher concentration to lower concentration 
but with the help of carrier proteins that is carrier molecules like this so such process is called as facilitated diffusion drugs are moving from area of higher concentration to that of lower concentration so in facilitated diffusion drugs diffuses across the membrane in the direction of its concentration gradient that is from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration this transportation occurs with the help of carrier molecules that means carrier molecules are required for the transportation of drugs but energy is not required since the movement of drug or transportation of drugs is from higher concentration to lower concentration it is also a quick process drugs which can be transported or diffuses by facilitated diffusion includes chloramphenicol and vitamin b12 so this is about facilitated diffusion and finally last method is pinocytosis and phagocytosis now engulfment of small droplets by the cell is called as pinocytosis while that of solid particle is known as phagocytosis although these are applicable to proteins and other big molecules and contributes very little to the transport of most of the drugs so this is about pinocytosis and phagocytosis so drugs can be transported to blood or drug enter into the blood by these four mechanisms called as processes of absorption here is a quick comparison between passive diffusion active transport and facilitated diffusion passive diffusion and active transport are exactly opposite to each other while in facilitated diffusion it is somewhat similar to passive diffusion except the need of carrier molecules so here are some questions you can look for define following terms what are pharma what is pharmacokinetics absorption distribution metabolism excretion then enlist various processes of absorption of drugs we just discussed about these four processes explain various processes of absorption of drugs you can explain all these processes easily and differentiate between passive diffusion and active transport so that's all for now thank you